Hello, I'd like to tell you what's coming up on the Granny Manners channel over the next few weeks. I mentioned I was going to do videos on deportment. Deportment means how you carry yourself, how you stand, how you sit, how you walk. But I'm waiting for my new camera to arrive because with my new camera, I can film both my face and my feet at the same time, which unfortunately I can't do with my phone. But we're going to be going back to Beirut. Erma and Henry have sent us a video of how you say hello in Arabic countries, which is very exciting. Joe Wheeler is going to talk about how he can tell what the weather's going to do by looking at the sky and the clouds. And of course, we're going to New York for our virtual tea party with Micah Myers. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So there's lots going on. Hopefully, too, we're going to be doing manners with horses, about riding and looking after your horse, good manners with animals, and various subjects that will be coming up over the next few weeks. So I do hope you can join me then. But meanwhile, here's one I did yesterday. Seven tips for a happy lockdown. Hello, Granny Manners here. Now, I've been speaking to quite a number of people of all ages, children, parents, grandparents, and I know how difficult it is sometimes to be as nice to each other as we need to be in this time of lockdown, when we're all stuck in the house together, especially when the weather's bad and we can't even go outside. But there are some things that you can do to help make a happy household. So here are Granny Manners tips to keep you happy. Number one, always smile. When you see people in the morning, smile at them because it really does get your day off to a very good start. Number two, do what you're asked to do when you're asked to do it. Because I think I have mentioned this before, but mummies and daddies and grannies and grandpas get very, um, not cross, but a little bit irritated if people say, yes, yes, I'll do it, and then they don't do it. So you know you've got to do it anyway. So try and do it straight away with a smile. That really does help. Number three, Try not to answer back too much because again, everybody's very stressed. And so just smile, try and be kind, try and be well-mannered. Number four, try and help whenever you can. Offer to help, to clear the table, to empty the dishwasher, to put the washing out, whatever it might be. So try and help as much as you can. Number five, remember to say please and thank you lots of times because Everybody is doing everybody a favour, so say please and thank you. And, and that goes for mummies and daddies too, to say please and thank you when you do things. Number six, pick up the clothes off your bedroom floor if you leave them there. And of course, don't forget to clean your teeth and brush your hair every morning and every night. And number seven, try and keep tidy, tidy toys off the floor because when you're all together, things get much harder. And especially if mummy and daddy are working, if you've got working mums and dads, then they've got a very busy day and don't need to be tidying up your toys at the end of it, especially when you can do that yourselves. So I hope that helps. It really is important that we are as nice and kind to each other at this time, more than ever before, probably. And I hope when lockdown is, is over that we'll still be kind and considerate to each other then.